This looks like a caveman trick. Uh, so it's one of these sneaky substitutions. I'm going to divide everything here uh, to, so I'm going to divide everything by x, well, I'm going to factor out x 20, 20, 22. So this is going to be, I'm just going to do this carefully. x 20, 20, 22. So now this is negative 20, 20, 22 plus 1. So now we have 1 to infinity. dx, this becomes so this is like 10, 12 now. And then 1 plus x to negative 20, 2022. So then Uh, oh god. Wait. Did I do this correctly? You, hmm. I factored it out. 10, 11. Now it's 10, 12. This is not easy as I thought. Uh, oh, wait. U is equal to 10, 11. Then du is equal to negative 10, 11, 10, 12, which is what we have here. So now this is equal to negative um, 1 to 0. Oh, okay. That, let's let that negative switch our bounds from 0 to 1. We get du of 10, 11 square root of 1 plus u square. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. If I let u equal... Uh, what am I doing? Tangent theta. I do this so many times, I kind of know where this leads to. Uh, plug it, so that's 0, pi over 4. Uh, this simplifies to secant theta, d theta. And so now answer is ln of secant theta plus tangent theta. Oh, this is so nasty. 5 over 4, 0. If we plug in 5 over 4, 5 over 4 gives us um, root 2 plus 1. 0 just gives us 0, because ln of 1 is 0. So the answer would would be root two plus one divided by any eleven. I believe this is the answer, and I can double check that. Okay, and so we have that. Then ln of square root of two plus one divided by it seems to be the same answer. So, there we have it.